Uh, so very much looking forward to this. So Valentine's is over. So I pulled out Just Check, which is really cool and still has winter stuff. It's like 20 something degrees outside, so it's still cold out. And this is purple and very pretty. I had purchased this as a non-foiled kit, as you can see. Um, and you guys have seen this in a prior video, but in um, either oopsies or grab bags. So here's like the non-foil they purchased, and then this came in the oopsie thing, which I also purchased. Um, and so did this page. Um, and they go with this kit. So these are foiled, whereas the kit I purchased is not foiled. Um, and for some odd reason, I'm going to have to ask why, because someone asked me yesterday, and I thought, that doesn't make sense. And then I looked, and they're correct. Um, the non-foiled kits don't seem to come with date dots, which I don't understand, because you would still want to date your planner whether you got foil or not. So I need to ask about that. Uh, but in the meantime, I found unused gold date dots that should match that foil. And I grabbed a couple of like the foily things that we get in the kit that have gold foil. I don't think they're going to match because of the colors they are, but I figured I would grab them anyway just in case. And here we go. So let's start with our day covers. This one might actually get out on time. It might be a day late. This one usually goes out on Tuesdays. It might not be out till Wednesday, but it should be coming out on time this week, which is exciting. Right after I film this, I'm filming my social media planner, which you should have gotten on Friday, so that one is very late, but that's another one where like, I need it right now, so it has to get done. I always feel bad every time I do one and then post it on Instagram and say, sorry, no video for this. I actually get comments with, oh, I wish there was a video. Oh, sorry. It's bad enough when they get eaten by computers, phones, and random SD cards that get soda spilled on them. Um, so, I try not to have it be a problem, but, you know, stuff happens. Now, the good thing about this kit I really don't need to change this or the middle because this is a purple kit. Uh, so that's that's kind of cool. Um, all right, so I do want to do washi, which means to decide which one is going where. I'm going to put the purple on the top. And obviously it's not going to go the whole way. It is going to ever so slightly encroach on my day covers because I didn't put them down enough. Okay, and then that just leaves me like this extra bit because I'm not covering that. You can maybe use that somewhere else. Alright, I'll see if I did a better job with the uh, day covers on this side. What was it I had determined? If I lined it up here. Yikes. Uh -oh. oh dear. Sorry. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut some of that off the back. Which is okay. I'll worry about that later. Maybe it's the newer kits where I have to put the washi on first and then the day covers. And I, that's why I was confused last week. Although that was a newer kit. It just wasn't as new as this kit. I don't know. still come up slightly short. That's so interesting. I don't understand why that is. Maybe it's just me. I'm just bad at it. Completely possible. Okay, I'll line that there. And, oh, wow, way off. Way off. Oh, dear God. 
Okay, I guess we're gonna be way off. So much so that I'm gonna have to punch this. Wow. Okay, well, you know what? It's just one of those days. Today has been a very, very, very strange day. I am not kidding. And it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. 9 o'clock in the morning? 9 o'clock in the morning. It's just been really weird today. Um, all right. Ray's gonna love this little dog because he loves little dogs because that's what he does. For a living with the dogs. Let's see. Here's the rest of my sidebar like things. Oh, this is where we can throw in some foil. Cool. Alright. that and we're going to make it meals so I'm going to grab that and what else I want to put a decorative box in between maybe any of this go with the dog that one does alright so we're going to put I really hope this has been on camera all this time. I forgot to look again. All right, so we're gonna put that. And then we're going to put meals. I haven't come up with a better use for this yet. So I'm sticking with the whole meal thing. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need to white out some of this. Because it will stick out. Where does all this dirt keep coming from? I swear, I don't know what my kids do, but I think when they come in the house, they immediately come down to this table and like put their feet on it or something. It's very frustrating. Okay, now I would like to put another. This is cool. Problem being, uh, can I get you back up? Okay, like I was saying, problem being, since I'm not coming all the way down, I don't know that I'm going to be able to fit something else there, which was what I had wanted to do. So, let's find a three heart checklist. Hang on. I'm going to put. Where'd you guys go? There we go. Alright. So we're going to put a divider. Just slightly crooked. Then we're going to put three heart checklist. And then we're going to put our really cool manicured hand. washi, which is totally fine. Okay, I like that. That looks good. Alright, let's find our flags. Here they are. No extra flag sheet, huh? Nope. See, I got spoiled by finding extra pages. Now I think there should be extra pages of everything. Okay, so I like this one. That would be Ray coughing in case you heard that. He does not have COVID, don't worry. And Thursday, I'm going to do this one. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Um... Payday. It's actually a double payday, which is pretty good. Don't really love this gold color, but eh, not Wednesday, Tuesday.
make that a little monochromatic. Alright, and we're gonna get Emma and her to go coffee. Alrighty. Oh, we forgot to do dates. Oh, dates can wait a few minutes. Okay. Um, let's see, so I got those in. We're definitely getting coffee on Thursday, so I'm just gonna drop another Emma now instead of having to wait until later. I'll just put her on my flag. Uh, let's see. What else have we got going on? Let's put... Because I really don't like that. Well, I'm just not like a yellowy gold person, but the rest of this kit is so gorgeous. I could not help myself. Uh, the yellow giveaway will be coming up next, by the way. A um, couple videos after this one. Uh, the giveaway for the people stickers went live on... Alright, let's see now we need boxes. Boxes, boxes, boxes. And checklists. many things to sort through, which is fun, but like, I've got two extra pages this time, so <laughs> it's extra to sort through. Um, okay, so let's go with known things. So we know that Wednesday is going to be, I like it better this way. Eh, I'm going to put it down here. We know that Wednesday is going to be Oh, Wednesday's going to be two things. Okay. Wednesday is going to be uh, the Happy Hump Day free kit. I don't know what the kit is yet. I'm sure there will be a sneak peek of some sort on Tuesday. Um, but it is also the day sub boxes shoot, go uh, on sale. So if you are not a sub box subscriber, all the info for getting to the website, signing up for rewards, putting my name in the comments to seller so that you get a free sticker sheet with your purchase, um, and signing up for the sub box and everything is down in the description. It starts at 12 noon central, 1 p.m. Eastern. If you're already a subscriber, you don't need to subscribe again. You should have been billed um, on Monday, um, or actually no, Tuesday. You should get billed on Tuesday. It's usually the first. Um, you get billed on the first for the monthly sub. You get billed on the 15th for the mystery kit. Um, so all the sign up stuff is there. And if you don't know if you want the box or don't know anything about the box, I have a whole playlist of unboxing them. Uh, December, January, February, and March went up on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, it says something like The Wild Came to Me, so you can check those out. There's seriously no kit that I've ever seen, no sub box I've ever seen of any kind where you get that kind of bang for your buck. It's just awesome. So I highly recommend, and I highly recommend checking it out. And it's not just because, you know, I'm, I love DEK. That's... I love those kits. Like, even if I never bought anything else from them again, I would get the sub box every month for the rest of, like, time until they stop doing it. Alright, so there's that stuff on Wednesday, and on Sunday there should be, because it is not sub box weekend, there should be, uh, Sunday specials. Alright, I guess we'll go with the other box so I can get it out of the way. So we're going to put Sunday specials here. And then I have my every Saturday at 9am live stream that I listen to which is unfortunately now crooked. It's okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go too monochromatic over there. Let's throw... It's that purple, so let's throw this one in. It's still crooked, but now it's shiny. Okay. So, that's for Sunday specials. Alright, I also have... An appointment. Oh, I wonder how many happy mail words I have here. Probably only two. 
theoretically I should be getting stuff Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, possibly Friday and or Saturday. So maybe I'll put them in between the boxes. Okay, we're going to add some pretty up here. Oh, my poor nose. up in there. Alright, Chloe's got an appointment here. Alright, so I don't want to use yellow if I can avoid it because the words are yellow, so I can't really split it between Wednesday and Thursday, can I? Well, that's okay. I'll do Thursday and Friday, and it will be fine. Okay. They're starting to behave like clear stickers do, where they just want to, like, jump onto the page before you're ready to let go of them. Starting to act like that. Okay. Oh, I was gonna put it between the two. Darn. Alright, it's okay. It is not a problem. Because we will. Which color are you? Okay. So let's see if we can just extend you over. Oh, we can't, but you're half the size. Shoot. Shoot. Nope, I'm running out of boxes, wow. Alright, so I'll put this one here. Alright, it's fine. I'll know, so no big deal. Alright, so let's do some decorative stuff. I'm going to put that sideways. Like I said, I don't know, several videos ago, I saw Dawn do it in one of hers, and it looked really cool. So... I'm now a big fan of that. I'm also a big fan of these scene stickers. As long as I line them up straight. When I don't line them up straight, then I feel pretty bad about them, but... <laughs> so I was listening to a podcast last night when I was falling asleep. Um, I finished my current audiobook, and I don't really like to start another audiobook right when I finish it because I find what happens is um, I will start to listen to the book and then not necessarily fall asleep and as an insomniac that's not a good idea so um, I put on a podcast because you know I can put it on low and it sounds like there's somebody talking to me um, and quite honestly no offense to anyone who's ever talked to me when this happened I can pass right out um, <laughs> it does not bother me in the least to just fall right asleep um, I do it all the time. Nope, because that's gonna... Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, my problem was that was gonna encroach on the box, and I didn't want it to do that. Alright. It's okay. I can fix it. Not a problem. on many things, but it will still be fine. Alright, so we've got Sunday specials, we've got my appointment, we also need... Oh, where's that smaller one? Because I can get rid of that. There we go. Alright, so we've also got 
church over here. Which is crooked. Yay, they're all coming out crooked. Good thing I have deco things I can put on top of them, right? That one I got straight. mentioned this in a video you've probably already seen, but if you head over to the DEK Designs Facebook group, they have a poll going about um, the paper, uh, the sticker paper, which kind you prefer. Um, they want customer feedback, which I think is awesome, because I don't like it when companies just do things and don't ask you. Like, you know, Happy Planner. Um, not that I don't love Happy Planner, I do, but sometimes... I just want to smack them and say, what were you thinking? Why did you do this? And the problem is, they're talking to themselves, and maybe the squad, but I get the feeling not the squad. Um, and then they're just like doing these really bizarre things, and everybody's just scratching their heads. Why are they doing that? So, I like that they are looking for feedback. Um, so, it's a poll. Vote for whichever one you like. Don't feel like you have to vote for whichever one has more votes. I, I went, I voted, and then I left. So, I have no idea who's winning, I just wanted to get my vote in. So, do it however you want, um, but that's what I did. Okay, so we're going to employ some checklists. Uh, Alright, so this podcast. So, I'm listening to this podcast, um, and the people are talking about how, uh, you know, people jump to conclusions, and if you have a problem with someone, uh, you should go talk to them first and not talk behind their backs and stuff, and then immediately proceed to talk about someone else behind their back as an example of not doing it, or saying you're going to do one thing and then doing another. I'm not really sure what was going on there, um, other than it was really awkward to listen to and I had to turn it off. Um, it wasn't real hard to figure out who they were talking about, uh, just based on something I had read elsewhere. So, that was kind of like, whoa, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to get involved in this. I have no opinion on this. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of not cool, in my opinion, um, to sit there and say that you're against doing this, you know, talking badly about people, and then turn around and talk badly about them. Where does that make sense? That makes no sense of any kind. So, I don't get it. Just don't get it. I don't know if I want to get it. I don't think I do. But I definitely don't get it. That's cute. I just don't... I don't get it. So, you know, don't talk shit about people. If you have a problem with someone, go talk to them. Uh, or don't talk to them anymore. Just ignore them. <laughs> Either way is, like, a totally valid choice. Um, but I think saying you're not going to talk about somebody and then talking about somebody. I don't even know if it was the same somebody, but either way, I just don't think... No, I wanted to do deco first. Um, I just don't think that that should be okay. I think that's kind of shitty, actually, which I find disappointing. Because I did actually like the... Well, one of the people, I don't know the other one, um, that I had been listening to. So that was really, like, really disappointing for that to occur, um, and while apologizing for a prior instance of exactly the same behavior, like, I, I don't, I don't get it, and I don't want to talk about it anymore, but I think it's kind of weird how people are always talking about, oh, there's all this drama, like, uh, drama about the, the Halloween sticker book from Happy Planner. I didn't see any drama anywhere, and I'm in all the same places you guys are. Every person I asked, who is not, like, a bigger planner channel, knew nothing about drama. So, I don't know, there must be like some club we're not in or something, but I see no drama, and I don't like to cause drama, and I don't want to be involved in drama. So, it would be really cool if folks could just kind of make up their minds, like, you know, are you... I don't know, I just, I think I'm just rambling at this point, just because I'm very confused and irritated, and saying one thing and doing another is not something I'm big on. So I had wanted to use some of these cute little 
decorative doodads around here. I like the chess pieces a lot. But I'm afraid they're not going to show. Well, no, they've got the white around them. They'll show up. They're kind of big for there, though. Let's put them somewhere else. Like maybe where I did something crooked and then it's less noticeable. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, so anyway, take anything anyone says about anyone else with a grain of salt or ignore it. I prefer to ignore things. Um, you know, like I said, it was it was easy for me to figure out who they were talking about and uh, I didn't really have that issue that they seem to have uh, with that situation that I don't want to talk about. So. I mean, I'm not involved in it personally, but I just find it irritating. So, don't just look at it. Um, so, yeah. So, that's just kind of, that's my whole thing of, like, woe for this week, or wow, what the heck for this week, or whatever, you know. That's, that's going to be confusing, my poor little planner brain for quite a while now um, and it's a shame you know people can't just like get along or talk and act like adults I don't know um, but you know I mean honestly here I am talking about other people without talking about them but that's because I don't want anyone to form a negative opinion of someone else because of something I said because of something I heard and not because of something you heard or was done to you like but that's not the approach that they were taking uh, in regards to this other thing. And it could have been more than one other thing, but there was one thing that was pretty obvious. Um, so anyway, not a big fan of that. Not sure I'll be listening to that again. Um, in fact, I think I already deleted it off of Audible. Um, oh, and in case you didn't know and you like Audible, you can listen to podcasts on Audible now. I found much more interesting, two more interesting uh, podcasts, but not planner or craft related. Do you guys know that Rob Lowe has a podcast? I was like, what? Yep, Rob Lowe has a podcast. It is shocking, but it's actually really pretty good, and he has some decent uh, guests too. So that was, you know, I listened to like four or five episodes in the last few weeks, so that was kind of fun to listen to. Um, and what else? Uh, I think it's Michael Rosenbaum? The guy who played Lex Luthor on that Smallville show? I never actually watched the show, but like I knew the actors. Um, and he's done other stuff that I've seen him in that I liked him in. He's got a podcast started during the pandemic. And he talks a lot about like mental health and stuff. And he talks to a lot of actors, mostly from the same station that his show was on. Um, and about a whole host of things. And it's really kind of interesting. Um, and he does like the whole like radio style ads. Like he's got his piece of paper and he's reading the ads off. It's really kind of amusing. Um, so I don't know. So if you're looking for non-drama podcasts uh those i think are worth checking out it just depends on what it is you like to listen to um if you don't like podcasts obviously not for you uh where do i need this one let's put this one here because i think tuesday is going to involve a bit of busyness Pardon me while I sniffle again, and it's about to be spring, so the sniffles will continue, but I promise there is there is an end at some point. It will stop. Um, I just don't know when, but it will stop. Um, <laughs> let's see. What else would I like to add? I know I had wanted the clipboard. So I've noticed that the sheets where I have foil, I have heavily favored the foil. And I'm wondering if that's telling me something like, you know, hey, you don't actually like the non-foiled kits as much as you thought you do, perhaps. I'm not sure if that's the case. Um, but I suppose that's a possibility. Oh, I just destroyed Chloe's appointment, so now I have to put that somewhere else. Okay. Because that's going to become... Where'd it go? 
That's gonna be my week's random to-do list. Okay, and now I will get her a box for her appointment. A lot of purple there, so we're gonna go with the Uggo. And we're gonna layer it on some more Uggo. No, no offense, DEK. It's just not a yellow girl. I mean, this is more gold, so it's not horrific. It's just not my cup of tea. Okay. What are we missing? here and there. I'm going to cow that on top of our dog under our mumps. Since they are the same purpley color. Yeah, it's crooked. Now I regret that. Oh well. Uh, I'm going to keep those. There we go. Let's add... page. There we go. I saw somewhere I wanted to put this, and now it has escaped me. There was somewhere I wanted to put this. Oh, but there's already a bow here. Shoot. Alright. That's cute. And I still have enough space to write in. <clears throat> the school stuff. And we'll go with AO divider. Right there. And we'll put this coffee here. It still looks crooked, but it's not as bad. Saturdays and on Sunday, but that's okay. Don't need a shopping list. I'm not going to Walmart or Target. I do always have general errands to run, but I have a to do list. going to add a couple of checklists. In case I need them. There's some kind of loud noises going on upstairs. wish I'd line that up better. I might go crazy later and get the undo out and fix it. I just don't have it in me right now. Ah, let's put the dates on. I think we're good. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, oh, okay. Friday. Heather Kell is releasing another sticker book. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know what this one is called. Uh, she released Spring Florals, I think it was, something like that, last week, 
or the week before, whatever week, Happy Planner and all of them did their launch that Friday. She launched a sticker book, and I was like, yeah, and I need my money for uh, this other stuff. And then I was broke anyway, even if I had wanted it, um, at least in terms of spending money. So there's something else coming out Friday because there should be a flip through on Tuesday and Elise has on her schedule that she's doing a, well, she's going to have up a plan with me uh, video for Wednesday night flipping through that book too, even though she will be in California, obviously she filmed it ahead of time. Um, so that is most likely coming out on Friday, so if you want to go check that out, that's Caliber Plan. I'm not affiliated, I get nothing for telling you that. I just like her sticker books. I can't, I just can't always afford the sticker books, but, you know, I like them. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna fit this right here. And I want to put... So I always say, oh, I'm done, and then I find something else that I want to do. I just don't like the spacing. And where are my bows? Bows. I don't like that spacing much either. And here and I really like this chest piece where did I put the last one because I don't want to put them all in the same alright I put it right here so where are we going to put you oh I didn't finish the top of my um, bedroom seat I gotta finish that too Alright, so let's put this here, and that covers up all the joints, and then they just look like they're supposed to be there. Uh, let's see, do we want to do glitter or scallops on top of that? Pardon me, the nose again. Uh, scallops or glitter. Oh, wait, or... I think it's funny too. The Oops Glitter one, the weekend and stuff, is purple. On this one, it's yellow. I guess they thought it looked better with the font or something. Do you fit here? You're slightly too big, I think. Just ever so slightly too big. Okay. Yeah. Get the scissors. And you just want to cut off a little bit. That probably cut off too much. Oh, I did not. Excellent. Oh my god, my nose. I need more allergy pills. <sighs> okay. So, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with a couple of your friends. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos. Don't forget to dig around in the videos looking for the giveaway information. And Subbox is open on Thursday, March 3rd at 1 o'clock Eastern. Good luck if you're trying to get that. And I'll talk to you guys later.